Here we are again. This time we're starting out in SketchUp because I thought I'd show you a fairly simple uh, workflow to make a aircraft hangar. Um, I've obviously I'm going to start with the uh, modeling part of it, and then I thought I'd at some point apply textures to it, and then show you how to export the entire thing into Flight Simulator. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing deleted here and uh, I'm just going to kind of do this uh, just on my own. I'm not, I'm not using any reference or trying to make any particular hangar. This is just going to be a generic uh, building here. So uh, I'm going to make this hangar Oh, if we just met 60 feet, that doesn't really. I'm not too concerned about. I'm just gonna get a, a general shape about a year. Um, it's probably gonna be not quite so long as it is wide. Let me go ahead and make it. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try 45 feet here. See how that works. Um, I can always come back and. Whoops. I'll always come back and change things up a little if I want to. Alright, you notice I drew that box out with uh, with the pencil. I just find it's just about as easy as anything. And most of the time I just use the uh, pencil a lot. I don't really use a whole lot of the other tools that often. Except maybe the push and pull tool, I use that quite a bit. Alright, so I got our hangar, and now I'm just gonna build some walls here, real quick. Whoa, well, well, there we are. <laughs> I love how fast SketchUp creates geometry, really keeps it entertained. Alright, I'm gonna make the uh, walls about, I'm just gonna say 12 feet. And then, to get our roof going, I'm going to just put a line right to the center. You can see how the uh, if you find this like the center of a line, you can see that the uh, the dot turns to blue and says midpoint, and so that's why you, that's how you know it's in the center of a line or whatever it is you're <laughs> trying to find the center of. Now uh, I'm gonna raise the ref. I'm, I select that line that I used the move tool, click then and just move it to where I want and I'm locking it to the blue axis by pushing the up arrow on my keyboard. I'm gonna put the roof up about oh hangar roofs are not usually that steep don't have that steep of a roof line so I'm just gonna say four feet. Alright. And I wanna kinda of split the roof Let's make it separate from the uh, walls. Alright, and uh, I think I'm also going to want to put a little overhang on this. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take this down to hmm, probably about f four inches. I'll just do that. That's a easy. <laughs> easy number to punch in. And so what I'm doing here, I'm just letting it get, get in the line in the direction I want it to go, and then I'm just typing in the distance. So in this case, I'm just going to press 4 and hit enter. If I wanted to enter feet, I just have to go 4 and then add the um, apostrophe to enter feet. But in this case, I'm doing inches, so I don't need to do that. Alright, I'm going to delete that line. And I want this to, you'll see, you'll, if you can get this to go turn pink, then you know you're perpendicular with the line. You just, or not perpendicular, excuse me, uh, parallel with the line. Just had it there, and it's <laughs> not working for me. 
let's try this again. Just get a I'm just gonna pull this out first. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop four inches down this way. Click from that point. All right. And I'm just gonna use the uh, once again just use the uh, delete that line there. I'm gonna grab the move tool and just pull this out. Not super far, really. Maybe six inches. And then I'm going to... Now, sometimes it's easier just to take the axis and align it with the roof. I'm just going to do that so I don't have that problem I was having there. Don't spend a minute trying to figure out something that I'm not able to do in that time. Alright, so I got it on the red axis. I'm just going to make it oh, six inches this way. I'm going to do the same thing with this bottom line here. I'm going to say six inches. Okay, attach it to that. Then uh, pull this to the end on that side. Okay. Looks good. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Let's see if I can get this to work without having to get use the axis. There we go. Okay. Got this at 6 inches. Do the same thing on the bottom. 6 inches. Okay. And I'm just going to... pull, Push it down here. And I should be able to delete. This is one thing you always want to do in your models is clean up any unnecessary lines. So all that stuff. Just want to delete that. If you don't, it's going to cause some performance issues and make your model really messy in a hurry. So be sure to do that sooner rather than later. All right, so I got that put in there. Now I'm just going to take from the top of the point here, go down 4 inches. And I'm just going to do the same thing as I did in the front here. Okay. Go ahead and delete this line before I pull it out. Alright, now I'm going to delete that line too. Alright, pull out 6 inches. There we go. So there's a fairly basic roof. Now I need to make a doorway in here. I'm just going to take it from the first, just just right where the the wall meets the uh, the roof here. I'm going to draw a line, but then I want a line a little further down than that, and so I'm going to put it at about maybe a foot down. Okay, draw a line across that way. And I'm going to delete this line there. Okay, now I just need, to just need the sides to be a little... Just bring the sides in a little bit and outline our doorway here. Bring this over here to a foot and uh, Draw that in and push this doorway back about six inches. Maybe even less than that, maybe just three inches. So I'm going to pull it back three inches. Alright, so that looks pretty good. 